Not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? Welcome back, everyone. Thing, it, uh, to another episode of Until Dawn. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, come on, name drop. All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. I mean, he's not, like, wrong, right? But I don't know where he is. I don't think he's still alive. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. We die? Em. Where it lives and we die? I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You have been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. Where the hell's Ben? Is that his name? Emily's current boyfriend? Um. Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, what? It's nothing. It just it, it oh, no, bit no, me no, and no. bit you. What bit you? The the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. Okay? It's not like it's a zombie. Why are they freaking out? Or really, it's it's not that bad. M. If that thing bit you. I I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. What? He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What, what are they going to kill Emily? What are you doing? Doors right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Well, okay. Well, 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 Mike, uh, this seems go. very drastic. You're gonna, you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. I'm not doing it! Fuck that! I'm not killing her! Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe that had- Oh, God. Oh, what if that- uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna regret it, aren't I? God damn it. Not safe out there. 
I'll be back soon. Oh God. I, uh, I just really hope that Emily doesn't turn. I kind of miss that part that uh, when they get bitten that they turn into them too. It's like the zombie effect, man. For real though, is that how it works? I thought that that he was gonna help us. With the flamethrower, dude? No, we don't have a chance. No, but it just means we've gotta be tough. It doesn't like fire, we know that for sure. Oh god, only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. No! I really wish- okay. Uh, heed these words or shall be your death, and your death will be not- not be the last. Uh, please go down. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo... grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food and trapped on the mountain in the Fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, Wendigo's spirit now begins to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpse. I've seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled. I can't read that last word. Across the bones? Pro pulled? I don't even know what that says. All right, let's take a look at... There was a tribe that lived in these mountains. The Cree. The shamans tell stories of the creature born in ice. The tribe... Uh, respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred. Also, the Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain it would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin later and tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like it it's a hunter like a hawk. Because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. That's creepy. That is so creepy. Uh, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and the flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Even bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the beast's it is the beast's weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo, spirits into the air. I've contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I found native artifacts on the mountains and copied them. Totems, bunch of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out on the mountain, they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough, but inside. But enough. Okay. But inside buildings, they do not work. Okay, so... We can't trap them inside. That's weird. Is that how many? That's a lot of freaking relatives. Like, I don't know if those are. Wait, are those people who survived or got killed? Anyways, Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. Aha! I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way to is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Okay, so it's a good thing we didn't kill Emily, see? Oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say?
I gotta reassure because we fucking blamed Emily. It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. Sorry, what did you say? Um, Please read it to her. She'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Dude, she just got fucking told. Uh oh. What? Why? What the fuck did she read? Uh, did we just leave that gun on the table? Is that not a gun on the table? Am I blind? triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else remember last year huh how you left your poor sisters to die you did nothing to help them. paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Technically speaking, of course, I guess he didn't. Oh, God. Uh, all right. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go. Uh, see, both are both are good, right? Like, technically speaking, of course, they did hurt Josh. But at the same time, I did not technically hurt anyone. I put them in situations where they made choices to hurt other people. I'm a, I, he's a sick fuck. So we're going to go with they hurt me. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. They just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Uh, I'm gonna go with I'm so sorry. It's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from something worse than death itself. So good up there right now. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! Don't move. Holy shit! What the What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. <laughs> What is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. Please, please. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Oh, 
Oh, I'm just so glad that we didn't end up killing Emily. I'm glad I, I had the balls to like just stand up for her. Which typically, you know, at the beginning of this this game, I probably would have shot her, but I've kind of grown to, to really like Emily here, so. But I guess now we're on our search for Josh, and I don't think that this is gonna be a fun, safe hunt. I have a feeling that things are gonna go bad. There's two hours until dawn at this point in time. So, yeah! So hopefully we could all... I don't know, I don't want everyone to die. I kinda wanna try and keep everyone alive. Uh, all right, well... Not even... Is there even anything for us in here? There you go, we can start walking a bit faster though, considering that there's nothing of interest, meow. Seriously though, I, I still love all these camera angles, and I hope that more people utilize them in the future. Love them, man. I love them so much. Oh, wait, we've been here, haven't we? Is this not the abandoned church or whatever? I have no idea where the hell I'm going though. I'm just I'm just walking. Wait, there's an exit. Okay, so the only thing that's gonna like worry me are are the wolves here, man. Fourteen missing in mountains. We've been here. Not entirely certain where we should be going though. Oh, what the hell's this? Aw, oh, don't tell me. Are we gonna have to actually walk around this stupid chair just to like turn this around? Wait, a cigar? <gasps> See, Indian head cigar? Yo, how cool is it that though? Like, talk about the Krees, man. That's so sweet. Those people who may not know, I'm I myself, I'm actually fifty percent Cree. I've never heard the Cree people call it Wendigo though. Maybe a different type of, of Cree, but I've definitely heard it called Wheatigo. Yeah, that's locked. So looks like we're gonna probably either A have to find a key or B find another way out. Wait, well there's this Is this open? Can we open this? I just figured that there's a light shot. Oh, maybe we can go upstairs. Hello. What is over here? All right. Well, upstairs we shall go. But I like this, like, because it's, it's not super linear, right? Like, there's so many different paths you could take. And it doesn't show you where to go. Like, this could be 100% a mistake to come up here, which is a possibility. But at least it's a possibility that... Yeah, see, are we going to be able to cross this? Oh, wait. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Oh, God. So if we go down here, is there a way up? Or are we just, like, chill with possibly being trapped down here? Okay, well. Okay, it looks like we can open on this side. Oh, my God. That is so many shotgun shells. Remember, it doesn't like fire, so that's good. We're going to keep that here. Can we please take the shotgun and possibly every single shell with us? More. More shotgun shells. Dude, this is so cool. All right. Now, are we going to shoot that, that handle? I assume that's what we're probably going to do, right? Maybe. Is it a, it's attracted by to noise, is it not? Oh wait, what about this one? I didn't see this one. Alright, here we go. Oh fucking wrong one. I can't believe that. I pressed R1 instead of R2. Oh God! Hey, big guy. Not the wolf! I told you. Maybe he'll be my friend. Hey. Yeah, huh? Hey. I was hoping I'd run 
Nein, ich gehe gerne. Alright, pal. You're coming with me. Alright. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place. So, we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh my god, I'm so glad I gave him that bone. I really am. I could have only assumed that this would have gone like a completely different route if I didn't give him that bone. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today here on Until Dawn. I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I hope to see some of you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts.